Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, also check out the top right eye, there you got a few nice links. Also to my wife's channel, all that stuff. Also to the playlist that this game is currently in. So check that out if you want to check out all the old videos as well. But here we are. We're going to be working on the text tag system. We've got a bunch of stuff going. we got the text tag system to update and print out. So uh, we can see them on the screen. We have a few types as well. We just created the default type right now. Uh, so the, the way this works, just to recap, is that we create presets. And then you can create text tags out of those. But a problem we're having is we can't really create it from a certain position and I want to be able to do that. So I want to give, I want to create a new constructor here. So you go into your text tag systems.h and you go into your text tag class here and we're going to create a new constructor. I'm basically going to just copy paste the old one like this. But we're going to assume here that there's already a text tag created and we're going to say text tag tag like that. And then we're going to have some, not some text here, not, not all of this stuff, because all this is already set in the preset. What we're going to do is we're going to do a float post x, float post y. And with this, we're going to basically copy the text tag. And then we're going to, yeah, then we're going to just add the positions to it. So this, uh, this text equals tag dot text. But this is going to be different. This is going to use pos x pos y. This text equals text dot color or tag dot color. Tag dot text dot color well we already did this text equals tag so we don't have to do all this because that's already set in there uh, we need to get the direction tag dot dear x tag dot dear y tag dot lifetime and then tag dot speed so we're just going to copy all of this stuff over all the important stuff that we have here is being copied over the position is set to whatever we want it like that and that's pretty much it basically now we have a new constructor which is basically a copy constructor we still have the default one ready but this will help us out a lot and to add to this what we need to do is we need to go into our text tag system.h again make sure we minimize this text tag class so we can see everything and we're going to go to our add texts add text tag function and I'm going to add two uh, parameters here I'm going to say float pos x just so we can add it at a certain position pos y my dudes and grills look at that beautiful and I'm going to copy this I'm actually going to set const in front of all these uh, like that just to make it nice and good copy all of those and put them right here just you know copy paste it over everything else and then you have three parameters here and now we can use this pushback new text tag the first is our uh, our thingy thingamajiggy and then we're gonna add the pos x and the pos y and you know what I'm seeing now which I should have seen before is that we're dereferencing here what we would like to do what we could do is we could remove the dereference and we can go into our text tag systems H again, open up our text tag class again, and set this to a pointer instead of a reference. And what that will do is it will allow us, we have to change these to arrows now, that will allow us to just not have to dereference that each time and simply just send in the default tag like that. And that will create a copy at a certain position. Okay, and once that is done, we're good to go. Now, one thing is in your game state.cpp, just go there real quick. Go to where you're, wherever you're adding a 
text tag to your text tag system at line 215. I'm being extra clear today because I want to start being clearer with you guys. And we're going to set our player's position here. So this player dot or get, let's see, let's go from get center dot x. See, see what happens here. Get center is a vector 2f and our function only takes x and y. So we have to write this whole thing. And that is annoying, but yeah, the, the only other choice we have is to make a function here, which takes a vector 2f, a overloaded function. So that we could do possibly, but for now we'll just keep it like this. So it's a const, it's a copy as well. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Uh, but this is good. Now it should add the text tag that we want at that position. So if when we have the the possibility to add it at our player's center position, which is right there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be from the center, but okay. Sure, sure, we'll, we'll do that. Anyway, it's following the player somehow, and we're good to go with that. So once you have your text tag system kind of working there, you also wanna be able to send in what it should type. So the text itself should also come from here. Well, I'm taking it one step at a time, guys, just so you understand what's going on. Um, and here we're adding a text tag. I wanna do some kind of a conversion here. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna have to use a few two string thingies. We don't really like that. Uh, we wanna do it internally. Uh, but if this is a add text tag, string we could have a add text tag integer add text tag double we can do a few things like that just to keep it clean in the system so we can we can convert that easily using string streams and stuff which is a little faster than using two string um or a two i i'm pretty sure anyway what we need here we'll call this we'll call this test like that and that's not going to allow me to do anything uh, but what we're going to do in our text tag system is we're going to call this a text tag string like this. And we're just going to do a const std string here. String like that. Good. Copy that. Go to your CPP file and just put it right after, just like we did with the positions. Okay. And once that is done, let's make sure everything's at text tag string. Also, you want to name it string here. And then we're going to just send in str right here into our text tag. Good. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go ahead in here because everything is going to become a string in the end. It's just it depends on how this function works. Uh, there we go. Let's go into our text tag systems.h, open up our text tag class, and then go down to wherever we're copying the stuff. Here we go. And then we're going to do a std string str. And we're going to say this text.set string str. Boom. So those steps are complete. Once we do that, this should be fine now. Name it to text tag string instead in your game state.cpp. And let's run this. Let's see if test comes out now instead of our any other type of thingy. Um, so there you go. Now it's saying test instead. Good. And it's just going ham, going ham. Good. All right. They're not disappearing yet. We're going to have to make sure they disappear. And we're going to have to add a timer to that as well. Let's get started on that really quick. We have our lifetime, which is that. Let's see. When we update it, we're updating. We're minus lifetime, lifetime. Boom, boom, boom. We're moving the text. Good. Now we just have to make sure that we remove it from our text tag system. So this is in our text tag. Uh, we need to create a little in the update function of text tag system right here. We're updating it. And then if tag can be removed. Good. 
delete this delete tag. Okay. It should be able to remove that tag itself. Because well, let's put that as a pointer. And then if we delete tag, it should delete all the data in there. And then we're going to say, there we go. Boom. Tags dot. And we don't have a counter actually. We would like a counter here. Uh, 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 okay, all right, we're gonna have to look into this. At least we can delete the tag once the lifetime is gone. I just wanna see if that works. We don't have enough time in this video to make sure all this works. Uh, but if we add a counter, I'm pretty sure we can delete, pop that as well. Uh, let's see, okay, it's not deleting those just yet. Let's try one more time, just really quickly. Go up here and go to our text tag update and let's say 10 multiplied by or 100 good what is our lifetime when we create our text tag it's at a thousand so I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 here and just run that and see if that deletes anything we're probably gonna get a crash hopefully we get a crash so I know it's deleting yeah, we got a crash. Good, good. All right. So, so there we go. Now we know what we have to do. So we're deleting the tag, but we also need to remove it from the vector itself. So there you go. That's what we're going to do in the next one. Until then, just make sure this is a thousand so you can test your stuff out or you can remove the delete for now. You know what we're going to do? We're going to set this to whatever it was, 10 here. And we're going to go in before we end to wherever I delete it. Uh, down here and just comment out the delete tag for now. All right, so there you go guys and girls That was it. Uh, check out the top right eye there. You got some, like a few uh, nice links Also the description box check that out drop a like subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye